The Dynan Flash handheld is made up of four components, the display unit, power harness, power module, and USB cable. Start by plugging in the OBD2 connector of the display unit and follow the on-screen prompts. Select your desired octane calibration and press OK. It's very important that you only select a calibration that coincides with the octane fuel that you are running in your vehicle. You will then be able to customize your calibration for throttle sensitivity and removal of the top speed governor. When you see this prompt, you will need to follow the ECU unlock procedure. Go ahead and unplug your device and ensure the ignition is off. You will need to locate and unplug the ECU. Start with a connection closest to the front of the car. Press the latch to release the locking mechanism until the connector is free. The connectors are all keyed, so they only fit into an appropriate location. You can also take a photo for reference later. Once all the connections are unplugged, take your power harness and connect it to the first and fifth plugs on the ECU. Connect the alligator clips from the harness to the battery jumper terminal, positive first, then negative. Grounding locations will vary by vehicle, just take care that the clips do not make contact with one another. Plug the other end of the harness into the power module and then plug the module into your display unit. This will power up the device and start programming the locked ECU. Once finished, you will be prompted to reassemble the ECU and update the coding through the OBD2 port in the car. Start with the rear connector and work your way forward. Press down on the connector until the locking mechanism engages, and then slide it over the tab. Plug your display into the OBD2 and select Tune. Follow the on-screen prompts and select Update Coding. Once the coding has been updated, you are all finished. Any further changes will be done through the OBD2 port using the display unit. The only time you should have to do the unlock process again is if your dealer updates your ECU or you flash the car stock and specifically choose to relock the ECU, as seen here. We recommend flashing your car back to stock and locking the ECU anytime you bring in your car for dealer service. Anytime you flash your car, you will see various faults displayed. This is normal, these faults will automatically reset when the flash is completed. Once a flash is completed, the display will prompt you to turn the ignition on. This is only the ignition, the engine will remain off. Doing this will complete the flash. Once this step is completed, you are free to drive the car.